Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to Divine Timing Tarot here at In Your Element TV. Today I will be doing a reading on love. Love as a vibration. I would like to remind you that the cards do not tell you what to do. They read the energies available right now in terms of love vibration and take it as a resonant. You can then use it for every different frequency of love, being romantic partnership, being family, friends, career, work, finances. It's up to you. This is free will. It is your choice if you decide to take the energy reading and use it to make empowered decisions in your life. So without further ado, I would like to start the reading. I'm gonna have to um, show you the cards once and then I'll put them on the table. And also you will be able to have a reading of the situation, so an opening reading. And also we'll then see the situation and we'll take it from there. Okay, let's see what the cards want to say to you. I have pre-shuffled the cards. So um, let's start the reading. I will start with an opening card and see what is the opening energy in love vibration or whatever frequency resonates with you. Ooh, something's coming up, but it's quite a lot. Nine of Wands. It feels with the Nine of Wands just popping up like that, but I won't be able to take it with, with a lot of other cards. The Nine of Wands about boundaries or maybe going solo, or maybe you isolating yourself. Let's see what is. Uh, it's kind of showing us a hidden energy. It could be that that card will show up again in the reading, or it could be just a pre-warning for you. So nine of wands, yes. Look out for situations where you are either isolating yourself or you're being too proud, or you need to put boundaries, or you are putting boundaries. Let's see. Opening energy. The Ten of Swords. I think we had this card last time, we had a long reading here. Now the Ten of Swords is a card that normally can um, represent a long journey of pain and suffering. But Tarot is a journey. You start with the Fool and you go through all the facets of each and every card. Every deck is different and I am using today the Light Seers deck from Chris Anderson. A beautiful deck and this is a softer deck I always say it's more a divine feminine deck so take it as it resonates but a divine feminine energy here on the ten of swords and as you can see from the card it shows that you have already released that pain and that pain is represented in every single bird that in this card flies away so you already in that in a in a I even got goosebumps honestly. <laughs> so it's 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 an energy that he's already gone. So if he's still in your mind, because this is a card of the mind as well, it's a spiritual card, but it's in the mind. If you're still having the same problems going around in your mind, but actually the problems have already gone or been solved, this is the card telling you let it really really go from all aspects of yourself all four bodies, your emotional, your mental, your physical, and your spiritual body, okay? Time to go to, towards something better, okay? So that's the first card, and that opens our reading. Now, let me take the second card. I normally, my second card is uh, the situation. Whatever situation you are going through right now, let's see what the energy says. Ooh, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now, Knight of Cups, it's a court card and it represents power. Power in this case, in relationships. Power in love. It could be relationships with your family, it could be relationships with friends, it could be a romantic relationship. But in reverse, it means like a lack of power. So maybe you're feeling a bit um, disempowered in your relationships. It could be relationships at work with your colleagues. But anything that you're feeling a little bit not cared for, unloved, 
not appreciated, um, also uh, a little bit abandoned maybe, you know, but bear in mind that this could be in your mind, this could be you um, feeling a little bit um, disempowered. It, it could be your self-esteem that is low, it could be insecurities that are popping up, you know, to let you know that maybe it's time to um, empower yourself, just, just to see what, what is in store inside yourself. Let me see what other cards, I can clarify this card and see what other energies do we have to go with this card, because I want to clarify it. Yes, temperance. Now, temperance is a card of patience. It's a card of divine timing. Temperance, I always say, is a card of divine timing power. It's where, as you can see, he's very relaxed, He's sitting down, just leaving life, being connected with the now. So connect with the energies right now that um, the cards are telling you or offering you. And with the three cards together, I would say by letting go from all your four bodies of the pains and sufferings that you have received from the past. And it feels like this pain, the suffering and all the situations that you have gone through has disempowered you, had made you feel not loved, not cared for, and your relationships feel very probably weak or even uh, even just like, yes, your self-esteem, you're not feeling like good enough for everything. Actually, no, just use, just be patient. Be patient with yourself, allow yourself time to heal, time to um, understand what's going on, probably reach out to the other side, but um, always, always with self-love. Okay, I'm going to put those down and I'm going to take the next cards. I'm going to ask about what is it that you need to be patient about and how long. You take that card and see what temperance brings in. Yes, with your healing. The Four of Wands, which is a beautiful card. You can see she's got a heart inside there. The Four of Wands is all about nurturing yourself. And take time to be alone. Take time to go into your own cave. Take time to rest. Um, to sleep, maybe you, you, you're having insomnia, maybe you are overthinking. Um, just take time, it's time for yourself, it's time for self-love, self-care, okay? So that's the card that comes up. I'm going to take just another card to see what else after the healing, what complements your healing. Okay, the moon. Yes, it's very emotional, a very emotional moment at the moment. So the moon comes after the healing. Why? Because you do need to go within. You need to find your shadows. You need to understand your negative beliefs, your negativity. Where Where is it that you are contributing to this situation? And what is it that you are responsible for in your life? It's not everything. The external only reflects the internal. So it's time for you. It's time to heal. Let's take another card before we close. Okay, the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands here, now it's a time to wait. It's a time to contemplate the future and to plan, but it's a time to wait. It's no time for movement. It's a time to wait. Why? Because you do need to heal. You need to allow time to heal to heal the emotions, to heal your spiritual self, to understand where your body is on it as well, what is coming out that is showing if you're having a headache or a blocked nose, or if you're having stomach aches, or if you're having, you know, a joint aches, that, that your body tells you a lot. So in the energies uh, of the cards, what they're saying is look after yourself. Really take time. It's time to really, really contemplate no time for action right now okay and have patience now i want to know i'm going to ask the cast to give us um this is the vibration of love and obviously this is about self-love as a general so i'm going to take a card and see what is it that the cards have to tell you about self-love as a vibration because um it looks like the reading is more about yourself your relationship with yourself yes justice now, the cards say that right now you need to be fair to yourself. You're probably one of those people that have been looking after everybody else. You've been looking outside, you've been giving, 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 giving. It's time to balance. It's time to bring justice into your life. 
and as you can see justice has a scale but this scale it's like a water barrier so water is emotions so look after yourself bring the balance back home if you over giving bring that giving to yourself now if you are receiving a lot then maybe it's time to give to yourself as a, as a uh, as a sign of balancing. Balancing is an intention. So when you, in, you set the intention to balance energies in your life, you will find that life will give you opportunities to do so. Just be aware, okay? So this is the advice of the cards for today. I'm gonna do a card for closure and see what they have to tell us. Maybe in the near future or what we can see in the next few days. Uh, like I said, the energy is the now, so take it as a resonance. But um, yeah, eight of swords. Basically, yes, the card is saying you're too much in your head. Let it go. Release, surrender, and uh, stop spinning around in your head. Take time to heal and take time to look after yourself and give yourself a lot of self-love, nurture yourself at least for the next few days or even a few weeks, whatever resonates with you. And if you do that and you decide to take the advice of the card, uh, then let us know how it goes for you because the energies are available. And like I said, it is your responsibility to take it or leave it. It is up to you if you want to empower yourself with what you know that of the energies that are available right now and um, make decisions um, let us know the result and we are here for you so but before that remember to like subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together if you want to know uh, about the energies in any particular subject but normally mostly themes general themes that we can help you with um, let us know and leave a comment in the comments box but you can also check us out in other episodes and other readings that we have here in our social media platform okay thank you so much and see you in the vortex goodbye